We're going to start our quarterly review with solids. First, we're going to take a look at the picture. You can see the particles here in our container are in this regular fixed geometric pattern. They're in a fixed position. However, it doesn't mean that they don't move at all. The only way that they really do move is by vibrating in place. We talk about solids. We also talk about their definite shape and definite volume. What we mean by definite shape is that if we take it and put it into a different container, that solid retains its shape. If you take the solid and put it into a different container, it still has the same volume as before. So it's definite shape, definite volume. And sometimes we refer to the crystalline pattern. That's our crystalline structure that's having our particles in fixed position. Some other terms that we need to know about solids First is heat effusion. That is something that we've talked about before. There is another video dealing with heat effusion. If you need to go through that practice problem, please watch that video. Remember we're talking about the heat needed to melt uh, a solid or the heat needed to actually freeze a liquid because those occur at the same temperature. That's why we have our melt melting freezing point equilibrium. That occurs at the same temperature, our freezing and our melting. We also have a kinetic energy that is constant because it occurs at the same temperature. And at that point, we're increasing the potential energy. So we're absorbing energy at that point. Then we have sublimation and deposition. Sublimation is when we take a solid and then we directly turn it into a gas. Deposition is the opposite, going from a gas directly to a solid. As you saw that video on iodine, iodine did uh, sublimate. It went from a solid and then to that purple vapor. Carbon dioxide is another solid that also sublimes. Why does subliming occur? Remember, it's due to those weak intermolecular forces of attraction. The particles don't want to stay together. They don't they're not really attracted to one another so as soon as they're able to escape from each other that solid turns directly into a gas. And now to just take a look at our graph, our heating curve, as you can see when we're talking here between A and B that is just a solid. When we're here between B and C that is when we have equilibrium. That's our melting freezing point equilibrium. That's where we have constant temperature, that's where we have constant kinetic energy, and the equation that's related to that is Q equals MHF. Remember Q is our joules, our heat, M is the mass of the substance, and then HF is the heat of fusion. If it's for water, so ice, that is going to be on table B. So you can find that value. If it's not water, either you're solving for HF or they're going to have to give you the value for HF. So those are some of the things that we're reviewing about solids.